American Lung Association is asking North Carolina legislators to act after the state received failing grades for getting the word out about how bad tobacco is for your health. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger live in Uptown tonight. Sydney, break down this state of tobacco control report for us. Yeah, sure, Brian. So the CDC says that smoking is still the leading cause of preventable disease and death in the United States. So the American Lung Association is asking North Carolina and other states to increase state funding for certain tobacco controls like taxes or cessation programs. But here, that is easier said than done when North Carolina is still the country's leading producer of tobacco products. The CDC says smoking has declined more than 8 percent since 2005, but that hasn't stopped North Carolina from raking in major dollars from the tobacco industry. The American Lung Association says the state pulls in more than $458 million in tobacco-related revenue. The problem, they say, is a lack of reinvestment into quit smoking initiatives. Despite North Carolina receiving over $450 million in tobacco settlement payments and tobacco taxes, the state only funds tobacco control efforts at less than 16% of the level recommended by the CDC. And the state that produces the most tobacco also has the fourth lowest tax rate on it. The ALA is asking lawmakers to increase the tobacco tax $1.49 from the current 45 cents per pack of cigarettes. We need to do more to protect the citizens of North Carolina rather than think about the big industry dollars. They also propose the state invest $21 million into tobacco control programs rather than its current $13 million investment. Funding and control programs um, can and does counter, um, you know, the marketing that the tobacco industry deploys each year, which nationally is around $7.8 billion. And I actually got a chance to speak to the executive vice president of the North Carolina Tobacco Growers Association. And unsurprisingly, he is completely against any additional control measures against tobacco products. He says that if the state implements, if they make it harder for people to get their hands on tobacco products, people will just go to illicit sources to get them. And of course, that can pose an even greater risk, he says. I'm live in Uptown, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.